Alrighty, well I'm not too sure how well you guys can hear me or see me, but today we're going to be making a harness bar. I'm going to show you guys how you guys can do that with stuff that you could buy at a metal place or, yeah, a metal place where you guys get your metal from. Um, pretty simple, but you guys are going to need to have some welding experience. I've only welded once, but this is I figured this would be good practice because I got harnesses and the way that I have them mounted, I just have them in there like just for looks. But I wanted to actually be strong just in case, in case of an accident. I don't want to get into an accident. But in the event that it does happen, I want to be safe. So I'm going to show you guys the stuff that you guys will need to put a harness bar inside of your MGBGT. Um, let's go show you guys that. Alrighty, well these are some of the basic things you're going to need. You're going to need a grinder to grind your ugly welds because obviously I'm not a pro welder. But I got an extra um, grinding wheel right there. Some magnets so that I could hold stuff together that's not welded yet before I tack it. And I'm going to show you guys my idea. Okay, so basically, oh yeah, and you're going to need a measuring tape. Basically, if you guys can see that, I got these little guys right here. I got these little guys so that I could, once I have my harness in, I could go ahead and weld these on here. And then I could bolt my harness. Yeah, my harness is on here. And um, on the ends, I have these little guys so that I could cover the end and it looks finished. And then right now I'm going to show you guys how you're going to be able to mount this stuff. But another thing, obviously you guys, obviously you guys need to um, um, fuse the metals together. So you're going to need a welder and safety for for welding, so you don't burn your eyes out. And I also have leather gloves that I'm going to be wearing while I do this. And I'm wearing a long sleeve so I don't burn myself. It might burn through my jacket. Hopefully not. But those are the simple things that you need. So if you take a look at the back of my car here, you're going to notice that my harnesses are mounted to this little rail thing that isn't very strong. So if I did get have an impact, it would bend that little tab up and it wouldn't be very secure. So basically what I want to do is I want to move those points onto the bar that I just showed you. And the way that I'm going to mount this bar is let me get that piece really quick. So if you get your stock harnesses, you're going to find this bolt or your stock uh, seatbelt position over there. You're going to get the bolt and the washer that was in there because... The threads for that aren't very deep. They go in like just this much. So you're going to want to get that, put it in here, and then let me zoom you guys in here really quick. All right, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put this on here and then screw that down on that side so you guys can mock up your bar and then cut it however you guys want. Because I just bedlinered this interior and I do not want it to get messed up, I'm going to get one of these rag thingies and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my interior and also when I tack up the welds it's gonna I feel like the sparks are gonna fly and I don't want to mess up my seats or anything so I'm gonna go ahead and secure all of this so I know this isn't as pretty to look at but I need it to protect my interior because I don't want my interior to burn and the car catches on fire and that's no good because you put all these hours into your car and then it burns down. That'd be no bueno. So I'm going to go ahead and put those plates on and then I'll show you guys what to do from there. Guys, keep in mind, I am no pro. So if at any time I mess up and I go back, do not be surprised because I am not a professional fabricator nor will I probably ever be. But if you guys have any experience or if you guys just want to try it out, this is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and screw these on. So now that you got your little corner pieces in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mock up my bar and then get the correct measurements just to make sure that it's not completely out of whack or that it's semi-decent. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get the bar and then see if it's correct. So I got the bar here and no this is not light, this is super heavy. But I'm going to go ahead and mock it up, see if it works. And if it doesn't, you're going to have to measure again, and then cut again. But, I think I got it first try. First try? So originally I thought I was going to have to grind the edges, but I don't think I am. I think I like how it looks like 
like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out and then I need to put the little blocking plate right there on the edge so that it looks clean. And then um, once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and make them not as sharp. Alrighty, so I kind of want to grind the edges to make it a little bit of a nicer finish. I'm not too sure how well you guys can see that, but I am going to grind it. Alright you guys, well I'm gonna try to try to lay my first um try to lay my first tack. Got all my safety equipment on and I'm gonna go ahead and try and lay a tack. So let's see how this goes. Focus, focus. What well, is it gonna focus? All right, so that's tack number one, tack number two, tack number three, and tack number four. And they all look decent and it's pretty strong, so I'm gonna go ahead and weld the whole thing solid. And I'll get back with you guys as soon as that's done. So I got this one pretty much welded up. They're not pretty welds, but I think these welds are good enough because this isn't structural this is just for like looks so I think that's good I think I might just grind it a little bit and then it should be Gucci all right so I got both sides done now I'm gonna go ahead and grind the edges because I need to weld the other bracket onto that so let's go ahead and do that Okay, so now that it's in here, I'm going to go ahead and tack it up. You want to make sure that it's like even on both sides because you don't want one side to be sticking out more than the other. I think that's good. I'm going to go ahead and get a measuring tape just to make sure. Let's see, from the edge to the edge is about an inch and a little bit. From this edge to this edge is about an inch and a little bit. All right, I think we're a gooch, guys. Alrighty, well that was super sketch. I thought I was going to light myself on fire, but now we're going to go ahead and pull it out and then completely weld it. So now that it's out of the car intact, I'm going to go ahead and finish welding it solid and then I'll get back to you guys as soon as that's done. Holy crap, that was a really good weld. It's the best weld I've ever done. Alrighty, so for my second time welding, I don't think I did too bad. 
I'm gonna show you guys some of my welds. I got that one pretty good. This one's pretty good, but I accidentally grinded on it, so. And then I got this one with my best one right here. Stacking dimes on that one. And this one was okay. There was some gaps, like right there. And I welded the inside. It's a little buggery in there, but I still need to clean it. And this side is still buggery, and I still need to clean it. But other than that, the welds are pretty good, pretty strong, and I'm happy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the corner. Alrighty guys, well I went ahead and welded on the tabs for the seatbelts where they're actually going to mount. Welds were pretty good, they're not, they don't look the best but it, it's on there solid. And then I also did it, welded them on the bottom so that they have super wall contact with the metal and so that they're strong because my life could depend on these welds. So I just made sure I had enough. They may not look the prettiest but they'll do the job. Alright, and now that I have that side done, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure from the outside to the center of the circle. What I mean is from the outside of here to the middle of here. And I'm going to do that exact measurement from here to here so that it could match evenly and, you know, all that fun stuff. So let's go do that. Alrighty, well, I haven't cleaned her up that good yet. But basically, what is left to do is I have to hit it with the grinder. And I'm not going to grind the wells. I think I'm going to just grind the dirt around them. Or like, not the dirt, but the little, you know, little, little leftover boogers, you know, that stuff. But as soon as I do that, I'll show you guys the final product. I think I'm going to take it out eventually and spray paint it, but I don't got the time right now. So I'm going to just put this in raw. That's what she said. <laughs> Here she is. I'm going to go install her inside the car and see how good she looks. Alrighty, well I didn't get to show you guys how it looked like because some of the files got uh, corrupted or whatever. So I'm just going to show you guys how it turned out. And this is like a couple weeks later, like I did this last week. So I'm just going to show you guys how it looks like in the car. So behind this netting, which I used as like a little trunk because I don't want to mess up that. Um, I got it all in, I sanded it so it looks like all nice and I want to get it powder coated eventually. But for right now, this is good enough. And I can move the whole car with it, shake it, do whatever. That thing's not going anywhere. Uh, let's see if I can get these harnesses on for you guys. Okay, so before I leave, I'm just going to do a little tug test for you guys. Just to show you guys how strong these welds are. Oh man, my seat's like all the way forward. What the hell? Or all the way back. Alright, hold on. I'll be right back. Alrighty, well, I got the harnesses on, so I'm going to do a quick tug test for you guys. Yeah, that's definitely not going anywhere. If you guys did like this video, please drop a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. But I guess I'll just see you guys in the next video. Peace out.